Hi, I'm Dave Penyuk of Revenue.com, and I'm here today to talk about three real estate calculations you must know. So do you want to be a real real estate investor or a wannabe real estate investor? Well, if you want to be a real real estate investor, you need to know these three real estate calculations. The first is NOI, or net operating income. The definition simply is uh, it's a property's yearly gross income minus vacancy and operating expenses. It's an indication of what your property will cash flow at with no financing in place. The calculation is gross income minus any vacancy or apply a vacancy factor if you didn't have vacancy minus operating expenses. Again, those are everything except for your financing costs and that'll give your, you your NOI. Here's a quick example. If, you bring, if your property brings in 54000 a year and you apply a 3% vacancy, which is, say, standard for your particular area and market uh, and your type, the property type, 1620 is your vacancy. And we use operating expenses in this case of 20000 to operate the building. And again, that does not include any financing. That gives you an NOI of $32,380. Now, the second one is the cap rate or capitalization rate. And the NOI fits in nicely with cap rate, and I'll explain why in a minute. But basically the cap rate is simply an indicator of the current value of an income producing property. It gives a potential investor an idea of whether your property is maybe a little too expensive, maybe not expensive enough, or the rents are a little bit low. The calculation is simply the NOI divided by the asking or purchase price, whichever information you have, and that gives you your cap rate. So in this example, we had 32380 as our NOI. We divided that by 600000 which is the asking price of the property. That gives us a cap rate of 5.4%. Now you need to know what uh, type of cap rate is reasonable for your property type and your property market. But if your particular property market and type warrants a 7% cap rate and the par property you're looking at is only 5.4%, you want to know why that cap rate is so low. Is it a better building, uh, has less issues, maybe the rents are a little bit low, it could be any number of things. But um, it'll give you a, a good idea of how it compares to other properties. Finally, your gross rent multiplier. Uh, and this is more common with residential real estate than the first two, which are more common with uh, commercial real estate and your gross rent multiplier is commonly used to just quickly assess the cash flow ability of a residential investment property. In this case the calculation is really you just take the asking or purchase price, you divide it by the annual gross rent and that gives you your GRM. So a quick example, a $350,000 asking price divided by $26,000 in gross annual rent and that gives you 13.46 GRM. Now 13.46 is a bit high. Um, in that case you're probably going to have to put a larger down payment down to get it to cash flow or you want to have really really low uh, interest rates and financing costs. Generally we like to buy properties in the 7 to 11 GRM range um, but do keep in mind that uh, if you can get something around 10 GRM you're probably going to have a cash flowing property. For tips on how to make more revenue with real estate, check out Revenue.com. We'll see you next time.